Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how you can find your personal information on the dark web. As you probably know, data breaches are occurring all the time. Now, while it is true that 99% of all data breaches or cyber threats require user interaction, there is that one to 5% where companies are getting breached. If you look at this current year, there are several major players that have been breached both on the local level and on the national level. When a large scale data breach occurs, there is information that can be breached and leaked onto the dark web. Information such as your first name, last name, social security numbers, addresses, emails, and even passwords, things that cyber criminals look for in order to get access to your online accounts. Think of all of the social media and website hacking that occurs. It's not that criminals are able to access your devices, it's that criminals are able to gain the login information for your web-based sites, such as social media, banking sites, email, you name it. If you are using websites that can be accessed anywhere in the globe, then that means criminals can do the same thing, which is why it's important that you improve your human firewall and make sure that your information isn't floating on the dark web because it takes, well, I should say, it is going to take things like making sure that you're using secured passwords, enabling two-factor authentication, and using passphrases instead of passwords to keep all of your online accounts safe and secure. But also, it's a good thing to make sure that you know where to go to find out where your information is floating on the dark web. Because unless you're familiar with the dark web or use a Tor browser, you wouldn't be able to find those sites. It's not that you can go Google on the dark web and just type in your first name, last name and expect sites to pop up. Because the dark web is a hidden place where both legitimate and illegitimate business happens. And if you don't know the direct link to a site on the dark web, it's impossible to find your personal information. But thankfully, there are programs that will allow you to search the dark web or information that has been gathered off the dark web so that you can find out if your information has been leaked. A lot of times companies just don't disclose when they have been breached. So it's up to you to make sure that you can find that information out. Now we're going to look at a couple of websites to help you find your information on the dark web. And with that, let's go ahead and take a look at our first website, which is Aura. I love that name. So Aura is a site where you can go and find your information on the dark web. You can go in and enter your email address like a lot of these sites. Let's see if I can, oh, my keyboard's delayed. Let's type in a email address that may or may not have been breached. So you type in your email address, you click on view results, and it's searching for your information. And next thing you know, it is preparing a report. And there you can see. Now, one of the things that you'll notice from these tools is that dark web search tools will find different information. I put this into another site and other breaches came up. So let's go back and take a look and see what has been breached at Aura. So as it says, take control. But you can see that there are server sites that have been hacked like Microsoft, um, Marriott and T-Mobile. Like, why am I looking at that? These are examples, but if you look below, this one says for this email address, 
no exposed private private data points have not been found so you can scan another email or you can move to another tool to find out if your information is floating on the dark web and we're going to move on because let me capture this email address our guinea pig for purposes ah, hold on it doesn't want to work for me there we go we got a nice copy of our email address and we're moving on to identity card or guard sorry now you'll notice that a lot of these websites uh, have other services but a lot of them are just plain old free so let's go ahead and post the email address in in question and see what it says remember the last time it said there were no breaches found so we're gonna use identity guard scan and it's looking at login information and let's see what information we get still pulling up oh look at that it said it found zero accounts found requires additional scanning which means to me it probably wants some money to find out if it's been breached so you can see that one password has been found but zero accounts found and then there it is so I'm not sure what that is but again it's always a good idea to use multiple sites to verify if your information is floating around on the dark web now the next one's a surprising one and it is Google one now Google one will utilize your Google account and you can go to one.google.com to find out if you have information floating on the dark web. Now, if you're using a Google workspace or workplace account, I always forget that term, it will not work. Geared only for individual accounts only. Going back to Google, what we wanna to go to is the dark web report. Once we click on the dark web report, um, we want to click run scan now the limitation with the Google dark web report from Google one is that it only will scan your current Google account that you're logged into so if you're logged in with a personal account then it will work but if you're using Google workplace or workspace whatever then it won't work now this is an ideal situation for Google if you just primarily use a Gmail account, who days or these days, who just uses one account? But anyway, if you've got a multitude of Google accounts and they're personal, you can go to Google and go to Google One and run the dark, dark web, web scanner. I'm gonna get that word out one of these days. Okay, so let's go to run scan. So we're gonna run the scan. Google is scanning and we can Currently, there was nothing found with my Google email address. Now, I can explore plans because, again, these sites sometimes want a little money in order to get a thorough scan. But your main goal is to get an idea if the information is floating around. That way, if you find it, you can take steps to change passwords or, depending on the severity of the breach, sign up for identity theft. Now, the next one is my favorite uh, which is have I been pwned .com, and let's paste in our email address now keep it keep watching to see what happens with have I been pwned so we put it in it says I've been pwned so now you can ignore the start using one pass and let's see here scroll down and this breach was exposed in the retina X breach back in 2017 um, not really sure what that was but one of the important things that have I been pwned does is at the bottom of the site it will show you what information was compromised immediately for each breach and in this breach it was email addresses and passwords which kind of gives you a clue that maybe you need to stop using that email address and you definitely need to change your passwords other things that have I been pwned will give you which uh, which is important is that it will let you know if your addresses and social security numbers have been leaked in a large scale data breach which is important because you need to uh, check that out now there are some others that we can look at but the last one that i'm going to take a look at 
would be the Mozilla Monitor. Yes, it's Mozilla, the same people who make Firefox. So let's show the desktop. We're going to get a free scan using our email address that I don't use anymore. And let's see what Mozilla has to say. And it wants me to log in with my account, which I really don't want to do. Oh my goodness. So you can set your password, get more, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, you can use Mozilla to find out if your information has been floating on the dark web. Other resources that you can look at as far as finding out if your information is floating around on the dark web is your password manager. Doesn't in, in your favorite browser, I should say. Now, third party browsers like LastPass and OnePass will alert you if your information is on the dark web, but browser based password managers will alert you that too. They specifically only hone in if your username, meaning your email address, and your password have been breached or leaked on the dark web because a password manager, that's all it does is check passwords. Now, if you're wanting a more extensive search, other than using Have I Been Pwned, you can go to Experian and Equifax to find out if your information is indeed on the dark web. I believe for both of those services, it will utilize your social security number to find out if you've been exposed to any data breaches and if your information is floating on the dark web. So keep those in mind too, but probably the two that would be the best would be Have I Been Pwned? Because it gives you a detailed look at the information that's been leaked in each data breach in your credit bureaus. And then of course, finally, whatever password manager you're using will allow you to find that information. But data breaches are important to locate, especially when it comes to your data, because it's a gateway to those online accounts every device that you own in your home in in your office is safe from data breaches the only one only way someone can get into your device is if you allow them in with the tech support scam as far as keeping your online account safe it's very important that you change your passwords enable two-factor authentication and at least use a dark web scanner and look at your password manager at least quarterly so with that said, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Love to hear from you to find out if there's anything I can answer as far as data breach is concerned. Now with every video, I always ask that you like, comment, and sub not subscribe. Well, subscribing's nice, but share the video because I know that you know people out there that struggle with computers and in technology. So my goal with all of these videos or every video that I make is to ensure that you are secure and safe with the technology that you use at home and at work. I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.